Hi all, today's topic is analytical function for a problem 2 and problem 3. Today we are going to see. So show that the function f of z equal to e to the power x cos y plus i sin y is analytic. First the given costing, split the costing with respect to u and v. e to the power x cos y plus i into e to the power x sin y. Now we know that f of x is nothing but u plus i v equal to e to the power x cos y plus i e to the power x sin y. So now split the terms u v separate. So u is nothing but e to the power x cos y v e to the power x sin y differentiate dou u by dou x dou u by dou y so when i differentiate cos y is a constant so take it outside e to the power x differentiation e to the power x now e to the power x is a constant cos y differentiation we have to do cos y differentiation is nothing but minus sin y Same way in this dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y. So sin y is a constant e to the power differentiation e to the power x. So e to the power x as it is sin y is cos y. Now CR equation you check whether it is satisfied. Dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y. Yes, both are same and dou u by dou y equal to minus of dou v by dou x. The CR equation is satisfied. Therefore, given f of x is f of z is analytic. So problem 3 is different question. Prove that f of z equal to z power n is analytic where n is a positive integer. It is a polar form. So analytic in polar form. Okay. So the condition itself uh, same concept but according to the polar form rewrite the CR equation. So, z equal to r into e to the power i z is a polar form. So, given question f of z equal to z power n. So, if it is a polar form, general, general, every general, okay, power n, any question power n, okay, it is like a polar form. So, z now converted, u is nothing but u plus i v equal to z is nothing but r into e to the power i theta the whole power n whole power n split it r power n e to the power i n theta so we know that e to the power i n theta is nothing but cos n theta plus i sin n theta so when i write it r power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So split u plus i v equal to r power n cos n theta plus i r power n sin n theta. So now split the terms r u equal to this and v equal to this. So split the terms and write. So when I split the terms and write, so u equal to r power n cos n theta and v equal to r power n sin n theta. So what is a polar form means dou u by dou r equal to 1 by r dou v by dou theta. And second condition dou v by dou r equal to minus 1 by r into dou u by dou theta. We will check whether it is satisfied. CR equations are satisfied. Now when I check it, 
so do you by do or i have to do it do or means cos n theta as it is constant so r power n differentiation is nothing but n into r power n minus 1 okay same way do u by do theta when i do it okay so do theta when i do it r power n as it is <coughs> cos n theta i have to do cos n theta is nothing but minus sin n theta into n okay same way do v by do r when i do it r when i do sin n theta is a constant r power n differentiation when i do it it's nothing but n into r power n minus 1 so same way here r power n is a constant sin n theta differentiation when i do cos n theta into n now check cos for the formula now when i check it do u by do r okay so it is nothing but cos n theta into n r power n minus 1 equal to 1 by r okay so r only additionally see here r power n here r power n minus 1 this is 1 by r so 1 by r so it is do v by do theta yes first equation satisfied so now check it for second equation do v by do t do r is nothing but so do v by do r it's a sin n theta r okay so it is nothing but same minus symbol as 1 by r into do u by do theta yes second equation is also satisfied therefore it is a cr equations are satisfied and we know that all the derivative so the partial derivative exists and it is a continuous also okay and the derivative partial derivatives exist and are all continuous because when i am able to differentiate itself it is a derivative only so i am able to differentiate yes it is a derivative and therefore given f of z equal to what is the question z power n is a is an analytical function okay so it is an analytical function satisfy the polar we have to do it the same cases if it is general case okay the polar thank you